everyone. This lesson, we mainly study the understanding and control methods of the diamond back moth pests. The basic characteristics of tea garden diamond back moth pests we can understand from the form, damage, habits, prevention, and control in the form. Adults have a strong and fat body, dense hair, and thick scale powder, mostly tan or dark gray. A few bright green wings are usually short and broad. There are often one to two slopes of the front wing near the outer edge. The body of the larva is fan-shaped and obese, oval or slug-shaped. There were four rows of poisonous thorns on the body, and a few species had smooth bodies without thorns. When the human skin touched can cause swelling and pain, affecting the cultivation and tea picking in tea gardens. The larvae had small heads, which usually hidden under the anterior chest, short chest feet, and their abdominal feet were replaced by suction cups, so they were not good at crawling. They moved forward by stretching the body. They developed a calcareous hard cocoon shell before pupation and pupated in the cocoon. One end of the cocoon had an opening. The larvae live on the leaf back for food. The young larvae fed on the lower epidermis and the mesophyll, leaving a yellow, semi-permeable membrane. After middle age, they bite the leaves and often saw the leaves from the tip to the base, leaving half of the leaves as straight as a knife. When the damage was severe, the leaves were completely nibbled away, leaving only the petiole and branches. The main biological characteristics of the diamondback moth were as follows. Most species had two to three generations per year. Some species had five generations per year in Hainan. Most mature larvae live in the cocoon in the surface soil or branches through the winter. Some species such as the pale yellow cup moth, the larvae overwinter on the leaf back, and most of adults emerged after dusk or at night, have a strong phototaxis, larvae a total of six age. There are also nine years old. The larvae are polyphagous, except harming tea trees, still harm a variety of fruit trees, forest trees, the tea garden cup moth, its main kinds and control and prevention method. The broad sense of leaf eating pests including all pests that are harmful to blades, such as sucking, leaf miners, and leaf biting pests. Narrow sense of leaf eating pests usually refers to the pests eat leaves. They all have chewing mouth parts, bite the blade into a notch or cavity. When serious, the leaves are eaten up, only the veins are left. The pests live in the naked state. A few of them can roll leaves, compose leaves, or nest, have a strong reproductive capacity, have the capability of active migration and damage expansion are easy to cause intermittent outbreak damage, prevention, and control. The pests are easier to prevent and control than other borers and sucking pests. The general contact killing agent and stomach poison can work. The larval stage was suitable for control. The kinds of leaf-eating insects. Leaf-eating Lepidopteran pests include thorn moths, poison moths, noctuid moths, hawk moths, and lappet moths. The main species of tea garden cup moth are flat thorn moth, tea thorn moth, gray thorn moth, the yellow thorn moth, the tea light yellow thorn moth, the white mole spines moth, the brown spines moth, and so on. Let's learn about the tea thorn moth, also known as tea game moth. Tea thorn moth belongs to the Leptidopteran thorn moth division. It is an important leaf-eating pest on tea trees. It is distributed in all the main tea-producing regions in China. 
the larvae feed on leaves to damage tea trees, affecting their growth and tea output. At the same time, the larva prickles can secrete venom. It can cause redness, swelling, and pain when human skin is touched, affecting tea picking and the management of tea gardens. How to identify the tea thorn moth? Tea thorn moth adult body length is 12 to 16 millimeters, wings length 20 to 30 millimeters, body and front wings are light gray and red brown, foggy black spots are on its wing surface. There are three dark brown oblique line, back wings are beige, nearly triangle, egg flat oval, yellow white and half translucent. Larvae have 6 to 7 years long. Its shape is long oval, back uplift, yellow green to green, back line is blue green, pupa is oval and pale yellow, cocoon egg is round and brown, tea thorn moth life habits. The mature larvae overwinter by cocooning in the deciduous leaves of tea rhizosphere and top soil. They have three to four generations per year. Adults have strong phototaxis. The eggs are scattered at the back edge of the middle and lower leaves of the tea clump. The first to third instar larvae are weak and generally stay near the eggshell, feed on the lower epidermis and mesophyll of the tea leaves, and gradually transfer to the middle and upper parts of the tea clumps after the fourth instar. The whole leaves can be eaten from the fifth instar, but generally, after feeding on two out of three of the leaves, they switch to other leaves. When the larvae are mature, they move to the tea clump litter or shallow soil to cocoon and pupate. In Zhejiang, Jiangxi, Hunan, and Guangdong, they have three generations per year. Four generations per year in Guangxi, the mature larvae overwintered by cocooning in the rhizosphere of tea bushes. In Jiangxi, the overwintering larvae pupated in April and emerged in May. The larvae of each generation flourished from late May to early June, mid-late July and mid-late September, respectively. There are three main prevention and control measures of the tea thorn moth. First, in the tea tree's overwintering period, combine with fertilization and plowing to remove or deeply bury the chrysalis to reduce the occurrence amount of pests in the following year. Second, using phototaxis of the adult of the tea thorn moth and installing an insecticidal lamp to trap and kill the adult. Third, attention, spraying pesticides in the generation stage of the first and third instar larva the medicament can be selected from 8,000 IU by MG Bacillus thuringiensis, wettable powder 800 to 1,000 times liquid, or 2,000 to 3,000 times liquid of 2.5% efficient cyhalothrin emulsifiable, 0.6% matrine water solution 800 to 1,000 times. That is the content of this lesson and what you need to grasp. Thank you.